I walked through the hole in the ice, careful not to step on the wounded fairy scattered around, and gathered up the weeping fairy that had been trapped within. She looked up at me, mortal terror warping her tiny face, and I saw reflected in her eyes the light from my magic staff before she disappeared. I couldn't make sense of it, but I hadn't time to try. As soon as I had stepped out again, I heard another pain cry coming from the south. The break in the cold came first as a refreshing change, but soon after I was sweltering as I stepped gingerly around lava pools and fire pits.
Soon a small gathering of them. They swarmed around the gym and my staff, seemingly their only concern in the world. 